Hi traders, my name is Matthew from PineScriptMastery.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how to calculate the stochastic indicator based on RSI values. So this is kind of an extension to the previous video I released where I showed you how to draw the stochastic indicator and the RSI indicator into the same oscillator box. So if I open up the source code to this script, if you watched that previous video, this should all look familiar to you. So before we begin, I just notice here that the overbought and oversold levels, if I zoom right in here, you can see that they're actually drawing over the top of our stochastic and RSI drawings. If you want to change the order of your drawing plots so that your overbought and oversold lines are drawing beneath these values, you can just move them down here. So if I cut control X, cut these out of there and paste them at the top, and then we save the script. You can see now that the indicator values are drawing over the top of the overbought and oversold thresholds. But anyway, that's just a tidbit of information for you. Uh, let's get into this lesson. So what we're going to do here, it's pretty easy actually to change the stochastic to calculate based on RSI data. All we need to do is change our price data variables to reference the RSI. So I'm simply going to copy the RSI value here and paste it over the top of all of our price action variables. So now when I save the script, our K is going to be calculated as a result of 100 multiplied by the RSI value minus the lowest low over the past 14 bars by default. You can change this in the settings menu. And then it's going to be divided by the highest RSI value over that same look back period minus the lowest RSI value over that look back period. And this will give us a value between zero and 100. And we'll be calculating the stochastic based on RSI values. Very simple. So let's save the script and watch the magic happen. There we go. Now notice that the stochastic has a lot more swings in it because it's been calculated based on the RSI instead of price action. And that's it. That's all we need to do in order to calculate the stochastic based on the RSI value. I hope you found this lesson interesting and helpful. If you did and you want to learn more, head over to pinebasics.com and you'll get access to my free PineScript course, which covers the basics of PineScript in detail. I also have a mastery course over there that goes into a lot more detail than the basics course. But if you're new to PineScript, the basics course is a great place to start, obviously, and it's free. So that's it for this lesson. I'll see you in the next one.